This guide illustrates how a trainee can add a placement. The placement contains key information about the trainee and drives a number of areas like the trainee's training history and the learning agreement. In the menu, click Add and then Placement. Fill in one form for each placement and use the drop down boxes to make your selections and complete all the fields. The fields will be filtered according to your choices as you go. The first set of information is general. Select your appointment type. And select your parent specialty. When the appointment type is surgical STR, this means that I can only select surgical specialties. Click to say whether you're an academic trainee or a military trainee. Select your deanery and then select your training program director. The names will be determined by the choices you've made above. Now click to confirm to move to the next stage of adding your placement details and supervisors. Now find your hospital. Just click in the space and start typing. Then click on the hospital when it appears. Select a start and end date. and say whether you're full-time or part-time and select your placement specialty and your level. Now choose your supervisors. Just click in the box and type the GMC number or the name. and then click on the name when it appears. Alternatively, you can use your user picker list. Do the same for the clinical supervisor. You can have multiple clinical supervisors, but if one person fulfills both the AES and CS roles, then you should have somebody else who can also be a clinical supervisor in order to fulfil the conditions of the learning agreement. Now tick to agree the statement of health and probity. But first, you can open them and read them by clicking on these orange links. You can save as draft, or you can say yes, I would like to submit now. Submit means that your training program director will be able to validate your placement.